just planning a voyage for tomorrow. Um, I've got uh, my uh, small craft almanac, uh, my charts, my plotter. I've got my tidal diamonds over here. And then I've already done my calculations um, for my tidal streams and things like that. Well, it's um, 10 o'clock. And as you can see, there's the Dunstan boy. Um, my intention is to actually come out of Plymouth Sound tomorrow. And this here is the breakwater, uh, Plymouth Sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to head over to um, the Tinker Cardinal boys. From there, I'm going to come off the south of the Great Mewstone and then I'm going to come down to the entrance waypoint for the River Yelm, um, where I'm going to take bearings off the Wembury Church Tower and the, the uh, Red Can, uh, Port Can of the Bar. Um, and I'm going to come and anchor just here, which is um, Sellers Beach, where I might um, have dinner. Everything looks okay, so we should be able to start hauling sail. And once we're underway, um, I'll show you um, my logbook and um, I'll uh, explain it. Uh, this is my little logbook that I keep. Um, I find it easier to do my passage planning in this. So this is the kind of stuff I've got for tomorrow. Um, the tie times, um, all with the one hour added. All right. I know that it's springs, I know what the heights are, I know what the ranges are. Um, I've got my weather forecast and we'll take a look at that in a minute or two. And then what I do for my passage plan um, is I literally plot my waypoints um, and alongside each waypoint I will put in um, the bearing, the distance, and then I do calculations. So I want to leave Dunstan Rock just inside Jenny Cliff Bay at about 10am. All right, And then I've got my estimated times based on an average speed of around about 4 knots. Uh, where necessary, I take into account the tidal flows and I've altered the calculation using the tidal diamonds and things like that as well. And when I clear the breakwater, I've also put in um, calculations for course to steer, taking into account um, tidal flows during the day um, using the tidal diamonds. Just haul up the sails a minute. Um, if we can get them going. The lazy jack. Securing that. And just drop all of that into there. The inshore waters forecast uh, for tomorrow. This was at, uh, published at uh, 1800 today uh, for the next 24 hours. We have a um, complex slack area of low pressure continuing to drift slowly northwestwards across the UK during the next couple of days, spreading the risk of some thundery weather further north and west at times. Uh, my region is Region 8, Lyme's, uh, Lyme Regis to Land's End, and what I can expect tomorrow is winds are east, three or four becoming variable, two or three later, so declining winds. Sea state, slight or moderate, um, going to smooth. Rain at first, then thundery showers later on, although the general forecast doesn't suggest that for the Plymouth area. Uh, this is my route plan. It says we should be off Duke Rock at around about 10.15. Uh, well, we're about 10 minutes behind, actually, faffing about. Um, so I'm about 15 beh minutes behind my schedule. Um, Duke Rock um, is just over there, that yellow cardinal boy. We should just be able to make it so Eastern Breakwater Duke Rock Cardinal Boy, and what we're going to do is we're going to tack our way up there. All right, so we're going over now. It's very light, very, very light winds. Um, it was supposed to be a, a three or a four, um, and clearly that's um, changed somewhat. Uh, going tide which will help and we'll put more um, back in that sail a little bit I think there we 
go. Well, it's quarter past ten now, so we should have been up where that cardinal mark is. Um, and we're about half a nautical mile away from it. So we're going to be about 20 minutes out on our timings, I expect. Um, but uh, we might catch up once we clear this headland. Very smooth sea state, which is what they uh, predicted, but we are inside the breakwater, of course. Ah, now we're chundering along, but we're only doing a couple of knots. <laughs> 